morning, my friend. It is Friday. In a few minutes, I am going to stop and shop. I have to reload on my lawn, on my food and stuff. I'm not sure what I'm doing today. I got a little impulsive planning. If I do anything crazy, I let you know. I need to get out a little, so I may do something a little offbeat. Um... And I was talking with my friend, Father Christmas, I asked him how it was going with his friend. And I go, it's okay. He's like, what? I go, when you're in alignment and your destiny's there, you'll find a way to do it. It's mind over matter and stuff. It was just like a customer had a tattoo on his arm. And my coworker, she's like, what's that mean? It means you have an obstacle, but your mind will figure out a way to do it, even though your body says no. Same thing in life. We have challenges every day. And the thing is, we can't give up. Even when we think it's impossible, there is hope. We just don't know at that moment how we're going to do it. But we have to have belief, faith in God and in ourself. Ourself is the hardest part. You can say you believe in God and everything. But the hardest person is you. Because you're the one that has to do it. And you're the one that gets scared. Trust me, I get scared a lot. But I'm learning that I have to overcome my fear. I have to go through the fire like the guy walking the charcoal with bare foot. You don't know how he does it, but he gets there. Just like us in life. We have to face our fears and keep going. And sometimes once we get through it, we go, Oh my God, that wasn't so bad. That's our anxiety telling us no. But our heart and our soul and our destiny is saying, Go! Go, Auntie Sue! Go! Do it! Okay, that's my advice. Mind over matter. Love you, Auntie Sue.